Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome to the lecture on non isothermal flow considerations in Tundis. So, uh, we talked about uh, so far the uh, mixing uh, and uh, uh, you know related uh, you know, phenomena inside the uh, Tundis, and in that we did not consider the uh, you know isothermal flow considerations, uh, especially uh, that happens. Uh, when uh, there will be change in the density and uh, because of that uh, you know you will have the uh, change in that source term. So, especially it will be uh, we will be talking about those conditions when you will have the natural convection type of conditions will be occurring. Uh, you know when we solve the energy equations. So, how uh, those things need to be taken into account and which are those dimensionless numbers uh, which are uh, required to be kept in mind while we talk about the similarity conditions. So, in this lecture we are going to discuss about that. Now, uh, before that uh, we have already discussed that uh, uh, we try to maintain uh, the you know similarities, uh, we have the uh, you know geometric similarity, you have kinematic similarity, we have dynamic similarity. So, uh, we uh, come across uh, you know the different conditions we have uh, uh, you know we get. So, especially we get the Reynolds similarity as well as the Froude similarity uh, because of the uh, you know different type of forces which uh, whose ratios we try to uh, keep same you know between the model and the prototype. So, based on that uh, we uh, you know come across uh, uh, few uh, you know uh, dimensionless numbers one is Reynolds number and that is Froude number. So, uh, Reynolds similarity it will be important in uh, laminar flows however, it becomes less important uh, when uh, there is uh, turbulence. So, uh, and also uh, what happens that uh, in, in the water modeling when we do the isothermal flow conditions. Uh, in those cases, uh, you know the the three forces uh, which are uh, mainly there: inertial uh, and uh, gravitational and viscous forces. So that uh, gravitational uh, force will be not affecting that uh, you know flow field. So what happens? Uh, we have seen that uh, using that. Uh, uh, two similarities if you maintain the Reynolds sim uh, similarity you have uh, uh, you know uh, uh, if you try to maintain both of them then you have to keep the uh, you know the uh, model and prototype size as the same. So, that is what we have studied earlier, uh, but fraud similarity criteria what is uh, uh, you know to be noted is that it will be giving a convenient method of uh, modeling the melt flow and, and aspects of inclusion collisions and flotation in the tundis. Because uh, uh, you know whenever you have those considerations where you have the uh, buoyant effects into considerations in those cases this uh, uh, so the, the effect of gravitation will be there. So, in those cases uh, when you do the uh, uh, inclusion uh, you know uh, flotation uh, kind of modeling and all that in those cases uh, these fraud similarity criteria will be uh, providing a convenient method because the uh, particle inclusion particle which is uh, uh, going inside now that uh, you know uh, is subjected to these uh, buoyant forces and also when we talk about the temperature conditions when we talk about the uh, you know uh, uh, difference in the temperature because of uh, the either the heat transfer or the uh, you know like uh, you know or uh, uh, the uh, different temperature of the inlet stream from the ladle. 
So, when uh, that comes, so in, in, in the continuous casting tundis steel making, uh, many a times your uh, conditions may become uh, you know non isothermal. So, uh, because uh, the temperature may not remain the constant temperature may change. And uh, this uh, non isothermal uh, you know uh, nature of that flow, uh, it may be due to the heat losses that is taking place from the top surface through the walls through the bottoms. So, from all these places uh, you have uh, these uh, heat transfer taking place, heat losses being taken place and uh, also in, in, in certain cases uh, what we see that the uh, temperature of the inlet stream which is uh, coming into the uh, tundis. So, even that may be uh, you know that may vary from the uh, from heat to heat. So, suppose uh, one in one case uh, the ladle has emptied and, and, and in that case the, level, the ladle is uh, moving out and another ladle will be coming. So, uh, so the ladle which is uh, coming now that is the new ladle they, that may have the uh, different temperature and uh, um, you know uh, or, or, or maybe with time in the same heat also the temperature may change because the ladle is uh, uh, continuously you know. Uh, uh, giving the um, uh, liquid metal and, and slowly in the end there may be change in the temperature. Now, because of these change in temperature there are uh, certain changes, there are certain uh, considerations need to be taken, certain uh, similarities need to be maintained and what are those uh, you know uh, extra terms which uh, uh, come into picture when we non dimensionalize these uh, uh, you know uh, governing equations especially the Navier-Stokes equation or the temperature equation. So, so that will be uh, basically interesting to know. So, uh, there may be difference in the temperature of the inlet stream, uh, stream from the ladle and, uh, and that of the molten steel which is uh, present in the tundis. So, that is what I uh, told you that there may be a difference in those uh, temperature which is already there uh, in the tundis and that then uh, you know when the metal is coming from the new ladle. So, there will be changes in the temperature and this change in temperature is basically uh, you know that will be uh, affecting these uh, uh, flow structures, uh, flow patterns inside the uh, tundis. And uh, they will be uh, different than the isothermal conditions and that may be uh, you know th this is uh, quite possible uh, during that continuous casting process because uh, you know. Uh, uh, in that you have continuous movement of liquid steel and you have continuous changing and interchanging of the ladles. So, you know so in that case you need to you know satisfy this thermal similarity in addition to the uh, geometric and uh, the dynamic uh, similarity and for that uh, basically you need to you know uh, see the those uh, criteria that how you will uh, manage that. So, uh, what happens that if you uh, go for the uh, momentum balance equation for the uh, you know uh, turbulent flow uh, you know conditions. So, for that uh, your uh, equation becomes like uh, you have uh, dou of uh, rho v uh, j uh, and uh, that is rho v i divided by dou t and uh, then you have uh, uh, the uh, convective term. So, you have rho v i v j and divided by dou of x j. So, that is your uh, convective term then you know, on this side other side you have the diffusive term. So, you will have dou of dou x j and then you have the uh, being the uh, you know uh, turbulent uh, you know uh, flow you get the effective value of uh, the eta and then uh, you have dou v i by dou x j plus dou v j upon dou x i. And then you get the pressure term that is dou p by dou x i and then an extra term which you get will be because of the change in the density uh, you know as the temperature will change. So, uh, that will be rho minus rho reference and then it will be multiplied with g i. So, this is uh, the extra term which is uh, basically the uh, this, this, this will be uh, uh, accounting for the buoyancy term uh, buoyancy force that will be per unit volume. So, you have uh, all these uh, you know terms we have already seen that these are the 
you know, the, what are these different terms which uh, what they indicate and all that. So, uh, you know, so rho and minus rho reference, so that will be uh, your uh, change in the density. Now, if uh, for the fluid, if the uh, beta is the coefficient of thermal expansion, so if uh, beta is coefficient of thermal expansion of the fluid, in that case, uh, what happens that uh, uh, you can express, you know, uh, beta will be, uh, you know, nothing but, uh, you know. Uh, the change of the density. So, you will have you know minus 1 by rho reference and then that will be dou rho by dou t. So, at, at constant pressure. So, that is what uh, you know the uh, expression for beta will be thermal expansion of the fluids that is at constant pressure. Now, uh, if you have very small variation in the density. So, then you can write because the, that way you will have rho minus uh, rho reference here. So, this rho minus rho reference will be minus beta times rho reference into delta t. So, for small variation in density, you can uh, write uh, this is rho minus rho reference and this will be basically minus of beta times rho reference into delta t. So, uh, that is what uh, you can write when you have uh, the uh, very small uh, variation in the density. Uh, now, we can uh, write uh, in, uh, in place of the rho minus rho reference, we can write uh, this minus of beta rho reference delta t and then uh, g i. So, that term uh, you know, will come here. and. Uh, so, accordingly we will uh, write the equation uh, dou of rho v i upon dou t plus uh, then you will have dou by uh, dou x j and then you will have uh, the rho v i v j. So, that will be convective term. Then you will have uh, the um, you know diffusive term. So, that for that you will have it effective then dou of uh, v i by dou x j plus dou of v j upon dou x i and uh, then we have the pressure term and, uh, and then uh, as we discussed it will be uh, from here it will be uh, rho minus rho reference will be minus of beta rho reference delta t. So, it will be minus of rho uh, you know uh, that is beta then you have rho reference and uh, uh, then you will have uh, delta t and then g i. So, that is what uh, you get uh, when um, you uh, incorporate this uh, term because of the uh, change in density that buoyancy term. Now, if you uh, write this uh, equation for the temperature. So, for the conservation of thermal energy your equation will be uh, becoming dou of rho C p t and then it will be by uh, dou t. So, that will be uh, you know this is uh, dou t and then uh, you will have uh, the uh, dou of uh, rho and uh, C p t v j that is your uh, convective term divided by dou x j. So, it will be uh, dou of by dou x j and it will be k effective and uh, dou t by dou x j. So, this is again the uh, effective thermal conductivity it will be uh, for the molecular as well as for the eddy uh, component in the case of turbulent flow. So, uh, that is what uh, uh, these two uh, together they will be governing the uh, dynamics of the flow uh, in, inside the tundis. Now, if we uh, try to uh, you know uh, uh, write, so before that uh, we will have the also the boundary condition and, and uh, the boundary condition at the inlet will be T. So, that is T is a T inlet. So, that will be your uh, boundary condition. Now, if we try to write uh, the uh, dimensionless form of uh, this equation. So, uh, your uh, uh, the both the equations can be dimensionally uh, dimens in, in the dimensionless manner it will be uh, written and, and few non dimensional uh, parameters will be uh, 
you know crop up, cropping up in that case. So, if you try to write the uh, non-dimensional uh, form of this equation, so you will have uh, again the equation coming up. So, do of rho star you know then you have uh, v i star upon do t star. So, uh, then it will be uh, plus again do of uh, rho star v i star v j star. So, this is the second term and by uh, do of x j star. So, uh, that will be equal to again do of do x j star. So, you are non dimensionalizing and uh, then in that you will have the eta effective divided by uh, rho reference into v n and l. So, that term uh, you will be coming and uh, you will have uh, do v star. So, do v i star by do x j star plus do v j star divided by do x i star. So, that will be you know here and uh, then uh, you will have minus of do of p star by do of x i star. And uh, lastly, we will have the term beta delta t l by uh, v square and then you will have g i. So, if you uh, non dimensionalize these uh, uh, equations, so this v square term will be uh, coming here and uh, then uh, this, this is one of the uh, another number that we will discuss that what is uh, that which is uh, what are those things which are uh, coming to picture. Then if you do the non dimensionalization of the uh, thermal equation, thermal energy equation. So, uh, that will be coming do of uh, rho star t star divided by uh, do t star and then you will have uh, do of uh, rho star t star and uh, v j star divided by do x j star. So, uh, you know that will be equal to do by do x j and you will have this uh, this time you will have the term that will be coming is k effective by uh, rho reference C p and v and l. So, that will be uh, coming as uh, because of this uh, non dimensionalizing of the equation and then you will have do t star upon do x j star. So, uh, this way uh, you will have uh, these two equations uh, as the one. Uh, so, we are basically non dimensionalizing the equation t star. So, we are taking that as t minus t naught upon uh, you know t inlet minus t naught. So, that is how uh, you uh, get these uh, non dimensionalizing of the equations. So, you must have uh, some idea about it. So, uh, so we are getting uh, you know non dimensional uh, you know numbers and what the, that non dimensional group which we uh, we are getting from here one is the uh, eta effective upon rho reference V L. So, this is nothing but uh, if you look at this so rho V L upon eta so, that is uh, uh, the reciprocal of the um, you know Reynolds number. So, the, and also it is uh, effective values this is for the turbulent flow. So, this is nothing but the reciprocal of the um, turbulent Reynolds number here. If you uh, look at uh, so, you will have eta effective and divided by uh, rho reference V L. So, this is uh, you know indicative of the uh, turbulent uh, Reynolds number. Similarly, if you uh, look at uh, the uh, further you know a number what you see this number beta delta t naught and then you will have L and uh, you will have g i. So, uh, and divided by v square. So, um, uh, if you look at uh, uh, this number uh, this is another number which we are uh, getting this dimensionless group. And uh, this is uh, suggested by the uh, by the researcher Damle and Sahai. So they got uh, you know they they have invented this number and that number is known as the uh, you know Richardson number and this is basically known as the Tundis Richardson number. So that is uh, indicated by T u. Then uh, you if you look at this uh, number k effective and uh, divided by uh, rho reference. C p v into L. 
So, uh, if you uh, look at this, this is uh, uh, nothing but if you look at this is uh, the reciprocal of. So, this will be 1 is rho C p by k and then you will have. So, it is it is basically it can be uh, uh, taken as the reciprocal of the product of the uh, Prandtl uh, turbulent Prandtl number and turbulent uh, Reynolds number. So, basically uh, you know what you see that uh, this uh, uh, these three numbers uh, you know uh, uh, come into picture when uh, we try to uh, you know uh, study these uh, non isothermal uh, you know conditions uh, in the in the case of uh, the uh, Tandis flow. Now, uh, this uh, uh, number beta delta t uh, then L uh, and uh, uh, this uh, uh, g i upon v square. So, as we discussed, so it is uh, nothing but it is the ratio of the uh, buoyancy force to the uh, you know inertia force and that is why uh, this number is uh, uh, you know uh, it is uh, taken to be the number which um, uh, which whose uh, which is very much considered for maintaining the similarity when we are talking about the uh, you know non isothermal conditions in the uh, tundis. So, uh, you know this number that uh, uh, ratio of uh, the uh, buoyancy force to the uh, inertia force. So, uh, that needs to be you know that is Tandis Richardson number. So, the Damle and Sahai they told that under these conditions if you maintain that similarity if they, these are taken as that criteria then in that case uh, you know uh, the, uh, the flow behavior which is predicted even by the uh, water modeling. So, it may be treated as the uh, similar ones you know uh, as uh, you know uh, will be done experimentally or with the you know. RTD uh, investigations. So, that is what uh, you know uh, that this is needs to be considered especially uh, in the case of uh, the uh, natural convection or, or the non isothermal case especially uh, the you will see when you uh, do the modeling in those cases uh, you will see that uh, uh, as compared to the uh, non isothermal case uh, you will have uh, the changes in uh, you know these uh, uh, flow fields uh, when you uh, have you will uh, see that there will be change in the temperature. So, when you uh, do that uh, you know uh, case study when you uh, are doing the case of suppose uh, uh, little change over uh, process or uh, uh, you know even in the during that process itself uh, when you are doing the transient analysis in those cases as the time progresses and if the temperature will be uh, changing. So, because of that there will be change in the density and that may lead to the uh, you know change in the uh, flow field that uh, needs to be uh, you know considered. Now, as I was discussing that uh, you know why uh, what um, were those uh, you know uh, findings which were suggested by uh, the Damle and Sahai basically. Uh, so, uh, they, they uh, investigated uh, you know on the uh, water modeling as well as on the uh, you know numerical investigation uh, also. And uh, they found that uh, why because why we are uh, talking about these uh, you know even turbulent conditions. So, when uh, they, they did the experimental studies on uh, two kind of uh, uh, the tundis and uh, the uh, one of the tundis was uh, taken bigger and another was uh, taken the uh, smaller one. And uh, then accordingly uh, they did the uh, you know uh, water modeling studies. So, uh, they did the uh, pulse input. So, uh, they have uh, shown that uh, uh, they uh, took uh, two, two uh, cases one was A and another was B. And, uh, a was uh, 60 percent of B in size. So, that is what uh, uh, was the uh, case and uh, they varied the uh, you know uh, flow rates uh, in the uh, two cases and uh, B was uh, so as you see that B was uh, larger and uh, they uh, uh, changed they did that uh, uh, pulse input study. Uh, for a range of the uh, 
uh, you know flow rates which is inflow rate into the tundis. And uh, then uh, they found the um, studies and uh, now what was seen that uh, for A and B uh, you know uh, normally the RTD curve was seen to be uh, very very uh, close. So, basically suppose if you talk about the, the work which is done by the, uh, the Amli and Sahai. So, they have taken the suppose A's length was uh, uh, suppose 0.8 meter and B's length was 1.35 meter. So, it was basically 60 percent. So, L is uh, ratio of the length is uh, uh, 0.8. Similarly, uh, you have uh, the depth or the width uh, they also have. So, in, in all these uh, uh, length cases you have uh, that uh, you know lambda is uh, uh, taken. And uh, then uh, you have, uh, uh, so when they uh, did, in that case what they saw that uh, as we discussed that you will have uh, in both the cases uh, they are getting the, uh, you know, so they have uh, done for uh, many cases and, and actually they got the uh, flow fields, uh, you know, very, very close like that. So, uh, when the uh, flow rate, uh, you know, or, or the, um, you know, uh, it was changed from 0.13 to 0.76 liter per second. So, this was uh, for A and the, uh, you know, top height is go going close to 0.58 or so, this is 0.6. So, dimensionless concentration was uh, measured and this is uh, uh, time. So, this is dimensionless time and this is dimensionless concentration. So, what they found that uh, uh, this is uh, uh, time of suppose 0 0.5, then 1, 1.5, then you have 2. So, like that it may go up to you know, 3. So, 2.5 and all 3. So, for A they have got and for B also uh, they got uh, you know a similar type of uh, you know curve uh, and it is going like that except for, so, so they have got that uh, range in which uh, all these 0 0.132. To, so, in that case, uh, you know, uh, they have uh, seen, uh, so it was varied from 0 0.13 to 0 0.88 liter per second, but uh, only for the case of 0 0.13 liter per second that they saw that this is for 0 0.13 liter per second. So, what they saw that, uh, you know, uh, when your uh, tundis is bigger and uh, you are keeping the um, you know flow rate as the minimum one in that case only uh, otherwise these uh, uh, ranges were uh, the uh, same so the, the, the on these uh, you know uh, rtds uh, here it was even closer to each other here they were somewhat sparse but only one of the line which is the um, for the uh, minimum of the flow. So, that was seen to be uh, you know having a, a larger peak little bit and, 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 and the peak was observed to occur little early and uh, then it was uh, you know uh, going into. Uh, so, it was uh, decreasing and ultimately it has uh, matched with the line later. Now, uh, this was only seen uh, now the uh, reason for this could be attributed to the prevalence of the non turbulent conditions because you have a uh, larger tundis and uh, and this is for for 0 0.25 to 0 0.88 uh, liter per second so that was uh, the value so uh, so that may be uh, because of the uh, you know uh, the laminar type of uh, uh, flow condition which might have been uh, the cause for these changes. So, so, so that is what uh, you know, was uh, basically found by these uh, uh, researchers. So, uh, you know, that, so just uh, to tell you that, uh, uh, you know, uh, these uh, water modeling as well as the mathematical modeling results uh, have been proved to be matching with each other, uh, you know, when uh, the uh, flow is turbulent. So, in those cases uh, they seem to be uh, you know be uh, validating each other. So, that is basically the experimental uh, work can be uh, used as validation uh, for the numerical investigation if you are doing further 
you know on, on a particular geometry. So, that is uh, you know these are the considerations that uh, uh, needs to be taken when you are going for the uh, water modeling in the case of non isothermal you know conditions. So, we will talk about other aspects uh, in the Tundish flow in our coming lectures. Thank you very much. Thank you.